Bye for Jam. Real good boy, son. Bye. That's all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and you and uh, Kimberly does vibes well, Angel well. Good singing, good crowd. Yeah. Um, it was it was real nice. It was real nice when the uh the people tune in and they. I I didn't I didn't know that a third person had donated the ticket to to like sit, so that all three of your daughters had tickets. That was amazing. That it's only um two of them. I just had to shut down some things here and. Boy, that general emotional voice. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's nice. That's nice. Well, anyway, gotta fight this, my brother. Gotta fight this. <sighs> I kind of tired, but I go in and sleep shortly. Better wake up and see about some stuff there in the morning. All right, this boy. I am on tonight. We're not getting a little touch on me, yes? Yeah, right. You will not be up for a good while browsing your phone or something. Uh, No, 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 I tired, I tired. Cook? Eleven fifty-six in London. It's almost twelve o'clock, boy. Ah, you, you want to cook? Ready to cook for you? Huh? Really? I have to say, I'll come outside, man, don't no worry. No, seriously, you want to cook? Mm-mm. Nah. I can get one now. Huh? I can get one. You want one? I will take a sip from you. I mean, I mean, get up and say something. Hey, wait, nah. Hey, nah, boy. Le hey, this little bugger, boy. Hey, Linda, I know you want Linda to set him up here, or what? But what if he chill is? Hey, nah, boy. Look at man calling me here and telling me to get up. <laughs> hey, you're not really. Why are you? Why are you? Hey. And they like to, you like to create content? Hey, boy. Oh, let's, sorry, sorry. Linton, boy, you is our. Hey, all right, I know. <laughs> hey, 
He's a mad man, you know why? I think that is the, the only difference between you and me. That's I didn't go send the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, five minutes and <sighs> you didn't do anything wrong in the background, right? No, oh my hey, I do I got, I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. <laughs> he only real man in the way. So you know while while you were lying down in bed and I, I was looking at you, I, I was I was thinking about you had you had to, you had to talk like kind of close to your microphone. No, I watching you in, oh, in, in... you know I feel like you need this microphone because you're like you you always break dance and I realized that about you like you can't walk in a street line <laughs> so in a street line. No. Your mouth your mouth need to be close to that microphone <laughs> so you could hold it on your lap. No, I watch oh. is you. I I I watch it. Me ready to talk yet? I watching you, boy. Hey, what's some coca? Good night, good night, everybody. Oh gosh, Amy, all, Amy, right. all right. Good right. night, good night, good night. <laughs> I thought you were sleepy. Let's <laughs> <laughs> start Hey, what's your name? You good or no, doggy? I good. <laughs> you good, boy. You're good. 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 Like no, I I no, I, I no. Well, I told you, I told you, I was coming back. Uh-huh. I asked you if you want a cook, so I didn't, I didn't suspect you would do anything wrong. So did it. Is Aluba part of this plan? Ah, uh, no, no, he's he's not part of this. I, I just, I just thought that um. <laughs> hey, um, everybody, good night, good All night. Right, hey, what's oh, the, what's the fastest morning. man this warm up? All boy. right, um, I want to welcome all you to this live here tonight. All right, um, but oh, what trouble is this? All right, so Kavita Rampasad, good night, Susie. We're looking, and <laughs> Susie, as far as I know, Susie was calling the boy. Sleep, oh gosh, hey, Penny, good night, good night, good night. I'm trying to figure out how I eaten less. Joel, what's up? Working out, but yet I'm looking wider. I feel like my head and my chest here are getting wider, but nothing like in a positive way. You know, like when you look into a distorted mirror, mm. or look like a piece of like chewing gum that's starting to get pulled apart. Like I, I, I don't know. Like no. No, but like, you like a, like a, no, no, no. I'm looking like a, a melting marshmallow. But, um, <laughs> but the thing is, the oh thing gosh. is, I'm eating a little bit better. I'm training a little bit more. And it's like a, I'm looking worse than when I wasn't doing them things. Nah, 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 nah. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. Hey, so, so guys, Lyndon really pull a stunt here on me. And I could take it. I could take it. But I could definitely catch him back. All right? <sighs> Susie, I had all wanted dead. A special hello to Narish Sukram who says, Cora forever, good morning. Good and morning, this is the weirdest morning. thing that I have ever done into as a content creator. Go live at midnight. It, it, it is like the least sensible thing. And I think looking at your line okay. down in bed. Right. Okay. So Anu, Anu is texting and Kavita is texting in too. So nice. Good man. More action than the house, man. It gets worse before it gets better. Yes. I think the, I think the longest you could do, that. That's, that's true. And I have been living by that philosophy for the past 40 years. What's that? It, it get worse before it get better. Yeah. For, for 40 years now, boy. Hmm. <laughs> well, boy, the see when you hit rock bottom after that is up, eh? And it ain't no lie. Hmm. So, guys, oh gosh, Lennon really catch me here. He really, really catch me here because when Kim leave the room to put her um, key to sleep, after that, I see, well, all right, till it's time to sleep. I was trying to text our friend, but I ain't getting on. All right, all right. How Hello. much people do we have in the house here tonight? Good 40 evening. people. Good all right, mo- Look, I say good evening because I think it is evening still. DR, 
good night or is it no morning? So good morning to you. You know, wherever you all tuned in at any part of the world, welcome to this show. I think one of the things I'm curious to see about is how long Mr. Sana could talk for. <laughs> that Bedford warm up real fast. That man like instantly going into to, to show Gil mood. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Hey. Anyway, you know, um, we're glad to be here with all you. <laughs> 36 people. Well, I hear like a phone ringing or something. I'm not too sure what that is. Maybe, right. maybe it's the, the phone. Oh, yeah, and it's probably still connected so that people can call in on the 487 number if they wanted. So okay. I know you. Anyway, you you engage. You engage your, your, your yeah, audience. Yeah, no problem, man. Yes, so Penny. All right. Let me see if I can think about something fast here. All right. So here what going on, guys. You know, earlier on in the day, Linda and I, we were talking about, like, you know, different nuts men that we know. And, you know, um, people passing around, selling stuff. And, you know, I, I will give the first example, right? Your phone hook up that um, calls could come in. I believe so. It, it charged in any corner there. You could pass mm. it to me. Oh, no. I, I am not sitting down behind the computer because Lasana is using that screen there. So what, you're going to uh, your phone number? No, in, in terms of, I, I mean, it'd be very active right now in terms of responding to, to comments that are coming in All right, we're here, well, from a we, text point of view. Yeah, be able to yeah so, so because sometimes we might miss to, to respond to somebody verbally, but then I could text a response. Like, for instance, the Ariel who says, this is the mom looking now because uh, the Ariel has fallen asleep. <clears throat> And the key thing, Lasana, is that I am extremely tired. I, I beat. You're tired and you do, you, you, you do me this wickedness? Yeah, because well, you have to stay here with me until I wait. I mean, you know, like something that I often think about is if you if you're with a fill up an engine, uh, like a vehicle with with fuel, right? A brand new engine, like from a Navarro or something, some, some sort of vehicle with a really good engine. And you just keep pouring fuel into it. I wonder how long that engine could run for. The, the vehicle not moving or anything? Would You think it would run for years? What, a diesel engine? Yeah, like a diesel engine. It's not yeah, shutting why? off. You're constantly just pouring fuel into it. So the, the radiator, everything up to mark. But the idea is how long that could run for before it potentially shut down. I mean, what's your best guess? Anoop might be able to answer that. And and the thing about it, I am willing to bet like it could go for like a hundred years non-stop. And listening to you talk, I just wonder the same thing. Like, like you could probably go for like a hundred years non-stop. <laughs> I thought you come with something serious here, no way. <laughs> <laughs> I have been I have cool join the house. I, I have been listening to you for, for 40 years. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, folks, Lasana is is um seven years older than sorry, do you tell your age? Yeah, I don't Okay, 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 age. great, 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 great. All right, let's let's put things into perspective a little bit, right? And I'll I'll be responding to the audience. Just, just give me a minute all the time. And then it's over to Lasana and I will be engaging the audience from the chatting point of view and the text and whatnot, right? Lasana is seven years older than I am. I am 40 years old. Lasana is 47 years old. Growing up, I have very pleasant memories of Lasana as a big brother. Lasana was the brother who I felt growing up that he never left me out of things. Yeah, he got a little girlfriend and think he might uh, run away and I didn't get to go to Trin City Mall with him or whatever the keys might be, right? But but ge generally, anything Lasana was in, you know, like how some men would tell you, hey, as a family man and I'm not going anywhere without my wife and they really live up to that. As a little brother with a big brother, um, I, I, I don't feel like Lasana ever left me out of anything. And that is, that is something we will have our kicks that we make in and talks that person, and we have always um, 
maybe more so me than him because I enjoy dark humor type stuff. And, you know, we would have our kickstart pass in between us as brothers. Some hard punches. We have a very good friend uh, named Declan. And you're, you're like, when the three of us get together, is the three partners who, if if jokes could mark you, your whole face is bloody when you're leaving that conversation. Right? Uh, I, I, <laughs> and uh, it is a privilege for me to be at 40 years old now and still feel like I am maybe a 13 year old brother to well let me let me drop the age there. like a 9 year old brother to somebody who is 15, 16 year old and they're not leaving you out when they, their partner is older than you so that's an important thing and um, I, I hope that it continue so you know I, I, I do think that Lasana is as sensitive to to jokes as he may have been <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> right? Oh hey, yes, but but um, amazing work. So I, I just think I, I say that to kind of set the stage that we have a, a relationship, a kind of special type of understanding. And uh, he has assured me recently that, bro, you know, you come in with different jokes, I come in with different jokes, and it's with their siblings who just kicks on certain things. So I, I, I think it's important. I don't know why, but I feel like it's important to put that out there so that, you know, we you understand when you see certain things in our content. And it's like, oh, wow, boy, Lyndon, get a low blow there, boy. Oh, wait, Sana, get a hard one there, boy. And the Sana, I just want to assure you in this chat here, that <laughs> if ever that sentiment changes, <laughs> that you would please let me know. Yeah, I'll let you know. I'll because let you know. that that's important to me. Yeah, I I don't want I don't want to be kicks in with you the way we have kicks with each other for years. Yes, and but you know it's sensitive and you're crying and different things. Well, because I fell about you know like my whole room that's flooding <laughs> from. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, so God. so yeah, bro, you you do your thing. Thanks for for thanks for the time on your channel. Yes, yes. and Lyndon, it was nice sitting on right next to you and and hearing this because you know since we we have been youth men, you know we we rule together, we kicks together, you know it was it we had some good fun times, and a little later on in the chat, you know after I do some healing out here, I want to send a heal out to Sukram. So, Joe, all right. Good night to you. Good night to you. Right. All right. Thanks. I appreciate that. Jacob and Nish, welcome, welcome. Yeah. Right. So, hey, Jacob for those, and of, Nish, for, for those of you who don't know, all right, Jacob wow. and Nish vlogs, right? You all could check them out. They are YouTubers, all right? So, they have some quite interesting content. So, we urge you to check out their page, all right? And King Vivek has a paid also. All right. King Vivek, big man thing. Were you, were you still doing up so there? <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Yes, man. Good morning. Good morning, Nadia. How are you doing? All right. Hmm. Live in the morning. Live in the night. Live in the wee hours of the morning. I think that's, that's one of keep, keeping with this theme of brothers and siblings i think that's one, that's one of the things that concern me most about your content creation journey i love the ideas of, of the daily vlogs i love the ideas and i urge you to keep doing it but as one that's like i wonder if this dude could put an old boy if he did this you know how, how you feel about her well boy um as i say there's there's a reason behind what i am doing all right uh i have been Ever since um, Ellis opened her channel, I have been looking closely at, you know, um, particularly comments. So I will go on to the other local vloggers and I will be reading the, con the, the comments. And what I was able to, and, you know, to all other YouTubers out there, 
listen, if you see a man trying something and it working for him, by all means, you do the same thing. All right? Nobody, nobody in own the stage. So if you see a man doing something a particular way and hey, that like that working, boy, you don't study if anybody calling you a copycat or anything. All right? So I go and share the information here. Right? What I have noticed is that we have a lot of Trinidadians that live in the USA, Canada, Australia, Austria. We've seen some from Italy. All right? And what's happening is that I noticed that the people are away, they usually use the word nostalgia, right? Or this was nos nostalgic. And I recognize from these comments that, hey, listen, the people that live away, they want, they need, they need to see Trinidad on a daily basis, right? It's almost as though they're waiting for anything to hit. Anything to hit, they're waiting for it. And I say, you know something? I could give them that. All right? So my, my videos, I produce them quite quickly, all right? Um, for example, I will tape something for about 45 minutes, right? And it'll take me about 10 minutes just to edit it up, all right? And what happened is that, well, of course, you know, I freestyle. I don't have a plan why I'm going to talk about that's why much of it probably don't make any sense, all right? But basically, the editing isn't difficult because, you know, I'm very careful of my language, for instance, so I don't have to go and look for something that I might have say out of time in. And, you know, um, I'll tell you I'll tell you something about me, all right? Since, since I came out of the, the mental institution, and this is serious talk, right? Since I came out of St. Tans, what I have been doing is just trying to focus on positivity. All right? I fill my mind only with good things. All right? If, if I'm watching something and for some reason I see any kind of violence or anything, immediately I, I don't look at those things. All right? So... Since I am only feeding my mind with good things, right, and good thoughts, it's very easy for me to keep my conversations clean, all right? So I don't have any problem with even, like, going on our live is, is not a problem for me because, you know, I have actually eradicated a lot, a lot of obscenity or any kind of vulgar talk or anything, I have eradicated that from my conversations. All right? Maybe you and I might be going down the road and we might, in between, use our language between ourselves. All right? But generally, no. I keep it clean. So I will just go outside, shoot something for 45 minutes, then take some little small shots to do some overlays if it's just, you know, like um, like how I did the birds the other day. Yeah. Right, you know, so that's a change of the scenery for people a bit. I guess some close ups on some mangoes. Um, what they call the bush when you touch it to the clothes, the, <laughs> the, the tamari, you know. And I realized that hey, here what's going on? I could do this, and it don't burn me out. It really don't burn me out because all I'm really doing is just I would have been outside the, the same way. You see me how I, I try to program all the minds that if you're going through any sort of depression or anything, right? This is how I just deal with it. So the only difference is that I might have to be holding the phone in my hand or set it up on, um, what is call them things? Like tripod. a tripod or something, you know? And in between, I'll have to turn the camera and engage a bit. And that's not difficult for me. So, you know, um, Basically, I just be sharing a moment of my life with y'all. And as I say, all my subscribers already know because I always, always um, 
I always mention it. I don't have to do a video when I am in a happy mood. Right? If I am feeling sad, I will just quickly say, you know, guys, I'm feeling full hundred, but I come outside and I'm trying to clear my mind and this is how I do it. You know, and a lot of people could relate to that. Right? And a lot of people may not be so expressive as to say, um, nah boy, I can I can go up on, on camera and I know in a good mood. I already established the my platform that hey, listen, maybe I might even say to the camera, um, guys, well, you know, I, I in a quiet mood this morning, but I setting up my camera so I like taking some birds, see a bit of clouds passing, and that is what people want, especially those who live in the United States and abroad. Right? But surprisingly, we get a lot of support from local people. All right? Because when I go through the, the analytics, they call it. Yeah. Yeah. When I go through the analytics, um, I see that I have a lot of local support. So I want to thank everybody, you know, that is supporting. And um, yeah, boy, teenage, we go in, boy. Watch me. We running this until six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and and, 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 and at six o'clock, uh, we then start to make some coffee, and at seven o'clock, we be live again. Yeah, let not sleepy. Yeah, yeah, you know, like um. Anyway, anyway, we'll probably get around to that in a bit. I, I know you'll probably want to shout out somebody. I was hearing the crinkling paper in the background. But I didn't see Kimberly come into the room now. Yeah. So I hear this crickling song and I was like, what making that noise in the background? So then I turn around and see her and she she opened a, a pack of, you know, this picker window thing. Yeah. So that's where you're hearing crickling. If yeah. I don't know if the audience was, they, you all were hearing it in the background. Uh, yeah, picker it. No, these mic kind of real good, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Would you, would you like a, a microphone, Kimberly? Yeah. Yeah. So what... So, yeah, so go ahead. Go ahead. Say say a shout out and then I'll come back in with no, no, something no, no, you were no. talking I, about. You know, I like to call numbers. I actually like the numbers that <laughs> we see there. I see 66 people inside and 22 <laughs> likes, right? So we have two sets of double numbers, right? Six, six and two, two. Yeah, you, you, you talk about using like, like curse words, foul language. And I, I have... If I if I could go back, two things that I would definitely change about how I approach life, I would I would stop smoking a lot sooner than I did, and I'd stop cursing a lot sooner. Right. When, yeah, yeah, boy. When, uh, that's like yeah, yeah. I mean, it's something that I can't take back. But when you think about like curse words and you know, it's just like this this filler that you keep punctuating with, and I I. I'm making a stronger effort to do that. Doing a pretty good job relative to, to where I stood with it. You're like in the company of fellas and you're hanging out or whatever. And, uh, but, and I know there are certain things that you, you probably only see when you get a little bit older. Mm -hmm. So if 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 I went back in time and I had access to my 18-year-old self and I say, you know, one of the habits that you should you really regret later on, boy, mm -hmm. is using all those curse words, I probably wouldn't listen. Right. But but where I stand now, and you know, like even in the, in the, it makes it easy to be in the company of people who don't like cursing because all too often, I'll be walking the streets with Kimberly, you'll be walking the streets with your children, and as casually as someone will light up a marijuana joint by the riverside on the roadside, that's how casually people are cursing. With, with little yeah. to no regard. And I, I am guilty of having done that in the past. No, I, I no, I, I, I wouldn't say, Lyndon, that I have ever witnessed, like, okay, like, um, let's say there's a family lineman, like about eight feet away from us. I never witnessed hearing you curse and seeing a family. I could attest to that. Yeah. Right? I could attest to that. We always, um, I'll tell you something. 
when when we were younger, not younger, I'm right, talking about two, three years ago. All right? When we linemen, right? It's just Blinda and I. All right? Um, and we talking we nonsense. You know, and you're giving your little jokes and to make it look kind of pretty and nice, you're putting in the little adjectives, you know, like instead of saying, hey, the man walking down the road, there, you say, hey, you know, the beep, beep, beep man walking down the road, you know, and hold on, you can do that again? You can do the, the what? The what? You make the man beep, beep, beep down the road, there, boy. <laughs> and he, yeah, you understand? <laughs> so just to, just to kind of make it funny, you know, you end up using a little curse word and that kind of thing, right? But we never really was disrespectful fellas in terms of like you're seeing people right there and you stand up and you're cussing casual, casual like that. Now nah, we really, nah, I wouldn't say we do that. Uh, do you, uh, ca- be- before we continue, yeah. can you just give this person a shout out? We are trainees, yeah? Good night, Mr. Sana. I, I want to get, I was watching it, right? Um, how, how you pronounce Aria? it? Aria. Aria, all right. Well, you know, for sure, is Aria up right now? We are Trinis. Or you'll or you'll be showing her it tomorrow, please God. Trini vibes. You was with me this morning, man, and you back here. Like I need to stop cursing. Oh yeah. gosh. 3D style with DJs. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, look, Roslyn said um, you should have taken me to the season some chicken to burn off some of the energy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gosh. think he'd have passed out for about a week. Hey guys, today's my father's birthday. Si Chan, big up from All Anu. Right. Oh yeah, man. You could do that one, Sana. That was it, oh. You know what I do? Wait, this boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> because it's Aria. <laughs> how do you pronounce the, how you pronounce the um, young lady's name? Aria. All right. Just pull back. Um, You can pull back the comments, huh? Sure. Uh, so that's scrolling up through the comments to pull up. We are trees. Good night. Go ahead. Okay. Come, bro. Let's, okay. let's, let's do it. No, 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 no. I had to get the names. <laughs> Karate chop. <laughs> Karate chop. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> don't, don't break my um, computer screen. Huh? All right, no, no, no. Happy first birthday. Sadak, <laughs> we, were, we were asking, you were asking, is the child up that you would be able to hear it? And the child is one year old, true, bro. <laughs> Oh god, good, 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 good. <laughs> you know, we we tired, we tired here and that kind of thing, right? All right, but we're going to get it correct. So Aria, I want to wish you a first happy birthday. And it's coming from your grandmother, Sydney. And this is Mr. Sana sending lots of love to you. And I have something extra, extra special. All right, here we go. Three, four. Baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark do 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 baby shark grandpa shark do 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 grandpa shark do 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 all right so big up to Aria right from your granny Sydney all right and let me go to Arum there now I love it I love it I love it I love it I love it, brother. I love it. I love it. I love it. All in easy, na? Oh, yes. Hold on. Anup. All right. So I said a big shout out to Mr. C Chan. All right. I understand today is your birthday, and it's a big up coming from your son, Anup, Kavita, and Adrian. All right. So I want to wish you a happy, happy birthday, and I hope you live to see many, many more with health and strength. All right. This is Mr. Sana sending lots of love to you on your birthday. Yeah, man. Kim, look, um, Jacob and 
Right. Yeah, yeah. A special um good evening or good morning rather to Jacob and, and Nish. Um we have a picker in though here. Jacob, we haven't been able to to connect for the Caribbean content creators podcast, but I I know that doesn't mean we haven't we forgotten it. And I look forward to it when it happens. Metro go sign. I seen New York Trout Squad Trini Fly Fishing Squad. I guess there's a there's a that's not gonna show them, eh? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> At midnight eating pickerindo. After you brush your teeth. Mm. I did. I don't know why, but before I make like usually before I make a video, I said to brush my teeth. I don't know why. I mean, it's, it's not like somebody, if, even if I'm in you know, my mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Anu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Anu, you could call in live. I think it's connected. Yes, Benny. It's Let me just um, double check here. No problem with that. <laughs> Mr. 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 Sana. Hey, Mr. Sana, could at least what the heck is do that? a little favor and cook him a meal. So I say, okay, deal. We can make the sausage thing. The, the sausage. Eh? Well, let me carry the life in the um, kitchen and let me go and cook that duck now. Is, is that the duck you've got? Calm, give me. Crystal, good night, good night, good night. Mmm. Enjoying this picker in nobody. Do do you think people yeah, Anu Anu, sorry, you could call life. Sorry, I, like I was so sleepy that I forget you asked that question and I was going to check if you could. Yeah, yeah, Anup, you could call in life. And we had to put the pink headphones on Lasana so he could hear. In fact, I should give you this one. Um because this one the next one too small for my head. True. So I had to give yeah. Seriously? Yeah. <clears throat> so let watch me. This had to be one of the most mellow moments. You, you know what that I enjoy I ever about you? actually had. So maybe I should do my vlogging around this hour. No, well, bro, I was I was telling that. Mm -hmm. No, I, I like your I like your vibes. I like watching your video. Whatever, but it's like right now, mm -hmm. you have this kind of rock back. Yeah, mood. Man. You sit down. Mm -hmm. your, your, your voice not like hammering into my head. Yeah. You know when you turn that volume up to like 150? You no, know, right now, no, right now, you're at a mellow, like 65. And and I enjoy you. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you how long I enjoy talking to you like this. <laughs> mm hmm Go ahead. This, oh, 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 Anup, Anup, hold one second. Let me just get the headphones for the sound now. And then let's turn on the TV in the background. A little bit. No problem. Yeah. Hello, good night. Good night, sir. Mr. Anup, how are you going, boss? I do. So here we're going on with three of my partner now, boy. Mm -hmm. Three of them end up in the hospital. You know them three of them are making baby one time. Right. Well, boy, that's alone is pressure. We got three of them sitting on the bench outside trying to have each other's back and talking about what we could do and what going on and thing now, boy. Mm -hmm. Boy, the doctor come out and tell the first partner. He said, boy, you have a beautiful, beautiful baby girl. So here I'm what a coincidence, boy. I was reading Little House on the Perry. <laughs> yeah. Doctor say, okay, okay. And next doctor come on and tell the second fella. He said, boy, congratulations. You have twins, boy. Congratulations. 
Yeah. Wow, what a coincidence. You know, I was reading Twin Peaks. Well, boy, the third fellow sat around up and down in the hospital now, like he, he, he go and clear. Yeah. When they asked him what boy, he said, by reading Alibaba, Ali, what did he do? He had to run to that one. He had to run to that one. Hey. Thank you, Mr. Anu. That's a, that's a fantastic joke. Hey. <laughs> you know, you know. Sometimes you, you, you hear jokes, but it's pleasant to hear it again because you may have forgotten it. You know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one take me right back. Take my memory there. To nineteen eighty-five. I don't give me stay in the house, stay in the house, and give one or two jokes. Help you out here, uh, Mr. Anup. Yes, sir. How do how do you feel about cursing, cursing in public? Was it was your take on that? If you don't, if you if you're comfortable sharing it. All right, my take on that is really and truly. Yeah, what I lime in, I was a lime man, lime in with friends and things just like anybody growing up, right? And then I happened to meet the guys on them one a couple of times when they already have been lime in, right? So by me walking in and met them already lime in and already consuming some liquors already, I saw how they were operating. And when I saw that, I told myself, I said, but what now? If I was together with, the, with them from the beginning, I would have been acting the same way. So that was a little sense to me by seeing how my guys and them operate when they lime in, they're cursing, they're drinking, they're smoking, and it's not a nice environment to be in. But I walk in, I was fortunate to walk in sober on them one or two times and not having any drinks for them and seeing them. Hmm. So, you know, it, I tell myself, I say, but wait now, that is how we just get on. I saw we just act, and I kind of pull myself out gradually. You know, right. with nobody getting no hard feelings or anything like that. But, mm-hmm. you know, it, 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 it opened up our, our wide um, view. Right. And I guess, I guess some people should try that. Go and meet your, 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 your fellow companion and then after they're halfway into the line. Hmm. Yeah, and you'll see the reaction. Right. Yeah. That's so that, not that real. That was a to me. Thanks for Shane. Thanks for so, Shane. That. Yeah. So, wait, so, so with, mm-hmm. with that, with that, now I started to conduct myself differently and do be around that atmosphere and that zone, and you know. Right. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then the line of work too. I had a, I had to be professional in what I am doing, so that assisted a lot in cutting out these bad habits. Right. Yeah. So, so you really think, um, you know, like if it have a, let me say, okay, let me say like Cora River, for instance, right? Mm-hmm. Where when you go up by pool one, you will have one set of people liming here and just about maybe 10 feet away, you have a next crowd mm-hmm. liming, right? Right. You really consider it to be a, a, a total disrespect or you think, it, hey, that's just the culture. If one of the groups, have people and they're cursing and that kind of thing. You, you think it just accepted that, hey, well, we buy the river and that is not no scene or that shouldn't be at all? No, 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 no. I I would look at it differently because in from my point of view, definitely there would be kids around here. Yeah, everybody going as a family group. Some people choose to go with their friends alone, but it have others who with their family, their little children, all these things, and it, it's not appropriate for that. And then the other thing is um, some of these guys uh, that be entertained by some vulgar music and all these things. Yeah, boy. You know, so that atmosphere don't be Mm-mm. good. I find that, 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 that if you're by yourself and you have the whole river or the whole beach for yourself and nobody there, you do what you want. You yeah. act how you just want. You play what you want. But from the time you see people come up with their little family and whatnot and they, Mm-hmm. To no all them things. I agree with you totally. I you agree. know, because yes. I am um, I trying to figure out why the culture and the kids and everybody getting like this now. And it really and truly, if you listen to the type of music that is be playing out now, you know, it influences <coughs> the youth Mm-hmm. In a different, in a different way, they find fun and 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 and, and some kind of in, enjoyment in these kind of vulgar music and being around vulgar people, and which mm-hmm. shouldn't be. 
Yeah, for because real. Because we age bracket. We age bracket. If you look at the songs where out. Kim sing in and you sing in and Linda know, I know, everybody know, it has it has good positive vibes. Mm-hmm. You know? And this music and all these things, these new people that coming out here now, they have no no remorse for what they play, what they say, what they cuss, how they go on, whatever. Everything is everything for them. Right. You know, and, and you know, the, the funny thing about it, some of them don't be mindful mm-hmm. of what it is going on. Right. And the surroundings and all these things. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, it'll be, it'll be, and then the next thing too, you're going to enjoy yourself a little bit and one playing a chutney hard hard dong, so the next one playing a a ragadang dong, something dong, so and all kind of thing, all kind of defending you here. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, and everybody goes in and you know, and all kind of thing, you know, that is a nice atmosphere to be in for But here now, when you really think, when you really think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Because for some people, some people might be actually planning to go to the river for a whole month, right? So yeah, it's a yeah. plan they put in motion that, hey, all right, uncle, auntie, nenen, whoever, and all yeah. the children, we going up and take our bead by the river, right? Yeah. And after yeah. you make all this effort, uh, getting your duck and your chicken and pack up your van with your firecracker and your gas tank and that kind of thing, and you're about to head up to Cora to have the day of your life, right? Because yeah. for some people, that is, a, that is like going to Tobago, eh? It's not everybody could yeah, afford yeah. to to go Cora every week, right? For some people, yeah, they had a sure. they had a plan to do that, and when you hear mm-hmm. you finally reach to the river, right? You may, you might have reached early as as you see, and you set up yourself nice, and then people start to fall in, and just imagine mm-hmm. the people to come right next to you is a rowdy group. Look at look at look at how you have this place, those people pleasure, right? People who plan this for a whole month, yeah, and somebody yeah, just yeah. come and fall in, and it have men cursing, and it it might have men eyes strained looking at the young ladies, you, you know it. Yeah. Boy, we had a this country mindset. I don't know if it will ever change, but I just always say. If you could get into the minor at least one person, it make a difference. Yeah, you see, you see, boy, um, programs like where you guys have here on YouTube and all them kind of things, just be encouraging. Mm-hmm. But look, my son now sit down here and he, he did, he was real entertained. Yeah, he was real entertained. How Kim singing and you know, mm-hmm. Lyndon, mm-hmm. Junior, he little, whatever, whatever song he said something here of the. You know, and it's a it's a it's a it's a fun for we, it's a line for we, it's a we sharing each other's idea, companion, all these kind of things. Yes. This little period of time, we we mind off work, we relax, mm-hmm. we have a little enjoyment as as how I should say, it, as cool people are supposed to be. Right. Of course. You know? Yeah. 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 But but and... to use Cora, Cora mm-hmm. is a bad example for me, eh? because if I go to Cora and I am um, see that kind of atmosphere taking place, I would definitely swing down back and check you and Lyndon. <laughs> yeah, 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 you see, you see, at least you have an option. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, mm. I have an option. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but, the, but the thing is, there yeah. are good feeding grongs. You have different type of feeding grongs that people could be feeding from. So how, how mm-hmm. do you... I mean, it's a age-old problem, but how do you get people to to feed on what are the 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 the, the so-called good sources where they could get something edifying or build a better society? How do you lead people to that feeding gong, ground or make it attractive for them? Well, then, Linda, that's a very difficult question because for the longest while I trying to develop a little plan for the youth and them around my area. You know, to not to get involved in certain things. But, you know, dealing with a group of 10 must be difficult because everybody had their own personal opinion. And then we have, well, like, you know, they have a say, they say, when he, when he cut, when he cut away, the mouse will play. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so some of these people will tend to do the good things in front of your eye. And when, you, uh, uh, when your presence is not there, they do what they want. Hmm. 
you know, so we, I, I still trying to work on, on, on some method or something, but what, what I know, 60% of these youths and them, the music influence in them. You think, you, you think the music is a big factor? Music is a big factor for me because they find fun in, in, in using the vulgar words as these people and them using it on the rhythm where they're singing on and whatnot and thing and they find like it, it, you know and you're seeing primary school students doing it now. Right. Now if we were to if we were to find a way like putting the knowledge of a book into a song. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel they would pick it up faster. Yeah. But, but I um I, I will tell you the truth, eh? When mm-hmm. sometimes um you know like going to drop the girls to school and that kind of thing, right? Sometimes we mm-hmm. we might be in a traffic jam. And right. the taxis that run in from the eastern main road to go up to the schools. Yeah. Right? Yeah. These cars playing that type of music that you're talking about. I don't wanna I know the name of the music, but I don't wanna to, to call it because you know Yeah, yeah, no. Nah. Right. Yeah. But mm-hmm. that is the kind of music that taxis that work in playing while they're dropping children to school. So just imagine, I'm talking about vulgarity, right? If that is the word, cussing, yeah. and all kind of thing. And your little 15-year-old daughter, your little 14-year-old daughter, jumping in that taxi, and that is the mm-hmm. kind of filth that they had to be listening to. And even though it's just a little five-minute drive, I mean, five minutes are that. Yeah. You know, you, you you know how disturbing that is really to your thoughts? Yes, man. As soon as you walk into and, the school, mm-hmm. right? As soon as you walk into the school, somebody might tell you something out of timing. Mm. And right there, because you was hearing it so much and, and you're so absorbed by it, Right? Right yeah. there. Is a cuss and a fight one time. Yeah. Yeah, so... But that is, that's what, yeah, that's Crystal, this new promoting. music... You see, you see a, a commenter saying there, um, Crystal, this this new music is disrespectful to young people and young girls. And I agree. Now, let's not go a little deeper to eh? You see, um, you see, yeah. it has some parents... I feel they don't take too. They don't have too much interest in their child. You see, sometimes your child might be doing something, and they deserve for you to tell them they did well. And parents fail to do these things. So some children venture out and where they go get these comments that oh God, you do good. You know, they're looking for these things. Kids looking for these things. Little comments that you do good. All right, son, look how you you, you know you. You paint this in school, they do very good. Although the child is a child, you know, but the grooming for them things start from a, a, at a young age. True. Parents and all need to pay special attention mm. to their kids. That is I, you so feel, true, I yeah. big so, I big so, and if I put my pants below my buttocks and I walk out my own, my mother called me back and, and wank me, boo, 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 you going like that? Of course. Yeah. Of course. Boy? Yeah. I do, boy. I don't know. You say you're trying with the youths. What, what, what kind of age group um, you're talking about here that you're trying with? Teenagers or fellas in their 20s? What age? Well, 19, um, sorry, 9, 10, 11, anywhere around there. That's the age bracket that kids are wrong by us now. Well, watch me. You stand a chance, you know? Yeah. You stand a chance because I told you we were talking about like um fellas who is like 15, 16, Years old, but if no, you but could I, really I, target I, like I, young children, nine, ten years old, you stand a chance. So you're doing a real good thing, yeah. then, my brother. Yeah, you see, the, the, I just check it out. The big trees and them don't grow the better already. You can't straighten that. Mm-hmm. The small trees you could grow it straight. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Um, and you, you, you mind saying what, what type of work you hope to be doing with them exactly? I, I sorry if I missed it just now when I took off the headphones. Like you have, you have a what, type of? what type of project you hope to be doing with the, the youths? 
Well, more involving them in like sporting act- activities, you know, having them out, uh, out, uh, out of the way are the, the, the influencers then. Mm-hmm. You know, in the spare time, I think they have the little hour after they do the studies, I think. You could go down into the playground, you go down to the playground and knock a little ball, spend a little five from five o'clock to six o'clock and come back home, you know, and make it interesting. So that they're looking forward for this hour every evening, every other evening. Mm. You know? So fill their mind with some good um some good sporting dopamines. Well, you know when when um when you knock any little ball and then you mm-hmm. find out if anybody having any problem with studies or anybody having any problem with any books or whatnot, and anyway, you could apply yourself, you apply. Mm-hmm. You know, but the, 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 the momentum behind the sport is to get them comfortable with you. Hmm. And when they get comfortable with you, they go start to open up. Right. And when they start to open up to you, you know, well, then you could apply yourself and see how best you could assist. See what you talk about it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, but you know, as the saying goes, they say room every in one lake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so well, they take a little time. I, I like the plan of action in terms of um, you know, involving them in sport and then, you know, from there casually kinda grooving into them to find out well, any kind of problems. You know, I I, I like the approach. And and yeah. I, I appreciate your your optimism, Mr. Anoop. Because I, I, I think like when I throw your mind through my mind far back and you and you see like the steady deterioration from the type of music from my years like in 94, 99. Mm-hmm. And 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 it's, it's almost like there is a part of me that will just say, hey, there's there's a there's a promise that these things could only get worse. And you and you yeah. appreciate like like uh, Trini style with Dinesh was saying in the comment section there about the role of parents. Appearance, yeah. And you, you appreciate the parents. And if that is something that is important to you, it's something like it's important to Anup. It's something like it's important to, to Dinesh, Crystal, Rose in the background. Mm-hmm. And it's important to them. And these are the little pockets that that we could find. Yeah. And and work with and communicate with. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. True. I know, boy. I wish you. I wish you. I wish you luck. I wish you God's blessings I, with what you're trying to do. And if it have, if it have any way that that I could help in terms of my channel and maybe particular events that you would like to promote, feel free to. You, you probably have my phone number. You could just listen. I could send it to you. Feel free. I I would be glad to help you promote something like that. Yeah, because um, eleven. Um, Lyndon, um, Trini out and about had a, um, a, a program, a show, a kind of family get together day sometime last year, October around there. Right. And and I and he was, we, we, we had conversed via YouTube and thing. And the first time I went to that um, family fun day that he had was to really put names to the faces. If you look at the video, you would see on the end of the um, almost coming down to the end of the program, I had mentioned something to him. We were talking now, and this YouTube um, vlogging that you guys doing and all these things, I find that it have a very positive effect. It have a positive effect. Like this morning when last time I come up on the live there. You know, it it sort of kind of take all the stress from the beginning of the day when you're thinking ahead now. Well, we we have all this to do. We have to get this done and whatnot. And then that little fifteen minutes I spent in the live this morning, you know, and seeing how much people on board and we had a little fun before we go to work. You know, mm. I went to work with how to put it, with very good, very very good spirit. Yeah, boy. A positive attitude. Yes. It had nothing to spoil your day again. Yes, because there were there were actually a lot of people wishing you a, a safe journey to work. You know that that crowd was really engaging nicely. So and you know when you left Anup, right? There were mm-hmm. other people also leaving to go to work, and other commenters was 
you know, saying, all right, get to work safely. And boy, I think we, I think we could really build a better community, boy. Well, well, this is it. You see, when in the morning, in the morning when you have to go to work, tra- traffic is at negativity. Mm-hmm. Um, all kind of hiccups in the road while you're going to work, all kind of things. And to see that this group of people come out this morning, and everybody, I don't even know half of the people. I only see names and people comment. Yeah. You know, and you're just feeling the vibes and knowing by here what's going on is have good people out here still. Well, boy, here now, I studying something, you know, I studying if we could pop an antenna or something so that when you hear people leave home, right, we could probably come across our radio station. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a <second. laughs> Hey, you come to think of what you're not? <laughs> yeah, no, boy, listen, man. Hey, watch me. We look into the lockdown YouTube. We look into the lockdown all radio station. All right? <laughs> you know, you know, um, oh, gosh. Mr. Lendon, you know, when I started to look at your videos, you know, when I started to look back, I see, but we're telling none is a real old school YouTuber boy. Uh, thank, thank you. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. And, and, and to, to echo something, to echo something that, that you were talking about there, Mr. Andrew, in terms of it have real good people, right? You know, when when yeah. I met Farmer Harry, <laughs> as we could Mr. Bat for a while, and then I met Farmer Harry. And mm-hmm. we started engaging, working together, going out and working, and 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 people along the way, subscribers have been very good to to, to Mr. Harry in different yes. ways, right? Yes. And he, yeah. he said to me a day, and I, I I I don't know when last he may have said it, so I, I could only speculate at this point. But he said to me, he said, "Boy, he said, Linda, the 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 world still have good people in it, boy." And yeah. and in in that moment, you know, it was. It, it, a lot of it was off of things that subscribers had done and then the work that I was doing with him from, from the recording point of view, that is, I, I felt mm-hmm. so happy to hear how you say that because there's there's a little part of me initially and, and this may have been a wrong judgment altogether, right? Mm-hmm. There's a part of me that probably saying that, hey, you know, Farmer Harry, yeah, he likes that type of lifestyle, but maybe it is his experiences with people that... Make him maybe stop believing that. Right. But through the work that, that we it. doing, how subscribers treating them, he say people, people I don't even know are being nice to me. Hmm. And and it felt good to hear almost like a kind of redemption song, if I could say it that way. Yeah. yeah. So so thanks very much for reminding me of that. Yeah, it have a um, <laughs> it have a, a a book. I forget the name of the book or fan. But mm. it, it, uh, it's the book of knowledge. When I put a partner introduced it to me, when I, this, when I opened the book, the first page had one question. Well, the whole thing is question and answer. Eh? The mm-hmm. first question was, what makes a good neighbor? So now you had to go down all the way to the back of the book now to find out the answer for that. Eh? Well, right. boy, I was shocked. What makes a good neighbor is a good sense. As mm. long as your friends go see you and your neighbor good. <laughs> It's true. That yeah. is so true. That is so true. Yes. And where Farmer Harry is, he don't need a fence. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He have trees fence in the mud. But I know, yeah. listen, I'm really glad that you joined us in the chat because, you know, um, it helping us along and it's good that um people could hear another voice. I have a serious question to ask you. Right, and uh, actually seeing that we have some, we have some YouTubers inside the house here right now. We have um, yeah, we have Dinesh Trini with style Dinesh. with Dinesh, right? Mm-hmm. Um, well, Jacob and Nish they go on to yeah, sleep. Yeah, they they left. We have right. We have Kimberly in the, in the, right. in we the have, room. We literally. have Kimberly. We have um, I've seen somebody <laughs> like Trini. Trini Desi, yeah. No, not Trini Desi. Okay. If there are any other YouTubers in the house, you can always indicate you, in the chat. Let's indicate it in the chat because, you know, you would like to hear this. All right. So you say that you're trying to work along with the youths and you're saying that you met up with um with Trouble, Knock a Pot, and you were sharing a point yeah. with him. You seem to be also indicating that 
what you're seeing from local YouTubers is a kind of positive vibes, right? Yes. Correct so far? Yes. All right. What you think, what contribution you think YouTubers could make towards changing the mindset of probably not only youths, but even, you know, like um, teenagers and people in their 20s. Watch me on the whole. What do what you think Trinidad YouTubers could do to help her? All right, so Trini Desi is saying, I am a YouTuber, kind of. He is a YouTuber. I love that. Right? So, but looking to jump into vlogging. Very good. You wouldn't regret that. Yes. What do you think? What do you think YouTubers right. could you do see, to help? See. You see how my boy Nakapot have it? Eh? Mm -hmm. Family, food, and friends. Right. Yeah, and how we just have a little program and thing going on. And I, I believe it's sour and thing there for everybody to come with their family and thing. Uh -huh. You know, and you have entertainment for the kids and for the, the, the parents and everything. Mm -hmm. I find that is a real nice approach he does to this. A nice, friendly, safe environment where youngsters could, could see how how to really interact and enjoy themselves. You know? Okay, so I'll, I just want I just want to get it straight. So basically you're talking about all right, like Events. hosting a, a event, recording it and then putting it up on YouTube, which hopefully will reach thousands of of youths that hey this is the nice kind of time we could be enjoying is that is that yeah. what, you, what you're saying yes mm -hmm. yeah well i think i think that is a message that we could definitely pass along via a video right or look at look at right here in this video right now that hey yeah. there's a man by the name of anoop and he's trying to help out youths, and he thinks that YouTubers could do something. And they're not really falling asleep here. No, no, no. I, I fully engaged in this chat. Uh, Crystal, uh, is that self I watch it? Because I see like the mic going inside the mouth, you know. I just need to drop the mic when my lyrics come hard. No, no. You know, easy, easy, easy. <laughs> All right, my brother. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you right? very much for the amazing yeah, yeah, contribution. Man. Yeah, man. You help carry this show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We enjoying the program no matter what time of the night we we at home. We in a safe zone and we interacting with good people. Yes, man. That's what we talking about. Have All a right. pleasant night to you and your family. Yes, man. Big yeah, up to man. Kavita in the house and happy Trini, birthday yeah, again to your dad. Trini vibes. All right. Trini yeah. vibes. Yes, man. If, if, if you like, yes, good night, All right, sir. All right, you too, my brother. Yeah. Trini vibes yeah. could um, <laughs> you could call in, call in, and we talk now. Next, next, next call, up, please. <laughs> you know, they say that radio. Yeah. I do really appreciate that um, call. This Trini vibes is a YouTuber also. Yeah, but not not somebody Trini bigo vibe peeps. Not that guy. Okay, that is Trini bigo vibes. I'll follow you, Trini Vibes. I'll follow you also, Trini. I am so happy to see that within the chat here, you know, um, people, you know, th these connections are being made here. Crystal, thank you so much for supporting Trini Vibes and Trini Desi. And I also will come and check out your content. All right? Uh, what, what about collaborating with, with other YouTubers? When when we could see, you know, you know what, well, you know what I'd like to see I, from here. Uh -huh. I'd, I'd like to see. And I, have, I have I have knowing <laughs> you and chatting with you. I have a sense of the the YouTubers that you probably know, right? You probably know a, a, a lot more that I'm not aware of, right? But I would like to see you connect and collaborate with a YouTuber that that will surprise me. Like, hey, you know, hey, I didn't know the son was connected to the, to this person. Meaning, like, you just kind of reach out to somebody, whether it's, you know, like, Trini Vibes, Trini Desi, 
and uh, do a collaboration with all him. All right, cool. Hey, but let, let, be, let be a surprise. Let be a nah, surprise. You could, you could collaborate with him. Right. All right, so listen. But don't tell me when you're going to collaborate Good. with him, right? Nice. I understand what Lyndon's saying. But... Good night to you, Sharon. No. Guys, I'm a new kid on the block. People will hardly know me. <laughs> all right? But I am sending out an invitation to Trini Desi and to Trini Vibes. You know, if all you like my vibes and for some reason or the other, all you want to connect with me mm. and let me do some kind of collaboration, all right? By all means, I in. So anytime all you're ready, I basically can fall into any category, all right? Once it's nothing illegal. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, hey, and look, we have Bella's, Raspberries, Food and lifestyle. Good morning to you, my dear. And welcome to the uh, Mr. Sana live. Kimberly? Well, you're, are they ready to sleep? Are they ready to go and sleep? sleep you know? ready to go to bed? No, 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 no. I mean, like, I ready he, to go. He no, want no, to go. He no, want no, to no, go. No, 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 no. I'm not rushing you oh, if you... Oh, gosh. Like, Richie Six, wait, wait, say, my brother. ready to go to... The bed. I right, look somebody calling in there. Hello, pleasant good morning. Hi, Mr. Sana. Good evening to Mr. Sana and the Batiste crew. Well, this had to be Ren. This is definitely Ren. I can't believe you guys are still up. Kill what we we have been making live since this morning, <laughs> six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday morning i love it yes. i love it i love it um i was just communicating i was just communicating on the other side of the world with some of my clients i turned on the tv and you guys are still there girl watch me since i tell you since this morning from six to about <laughs> half past eight i came on a, a live that, I... that would have been friday morning right and oh my Kimberly god went on about what time? About 10 o'clock? And then Lasana was sleeping. Unbelievable. And, oh, and then when you get a chance, you could rewind back. If you know what Lyndon did to me. Lyndon. Actually, I glimpsed. I saw it and he reminded me of my brother. I almost fell on the floor laughing. Hmm. He ain't easy, you know. So, okay, okay. So, so, <laughs> I so wanted, you have been here I since wanted to chime the in. I want to chime in on that conversation um, where you you brought up um, uh, curse words, uh, foul language, so to speak. Right. Sure. So I want to throw a wrench. I know it's a little early in the morning, but I want to throw a wrench in that game. Well, right <laughs> Is that ahead, okay? Man. With that beautiful voice? <laughs> oh, of okay, course. Cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> You guys are funny. You can turn so, the whole toolbox. <laughs> yeah, man. Throw the whole toolbox. Hi, Kimberly. I'm throwing the whole toolbox in. See, so here I goes. Read. So I'm gonna split it in two on in two parts. Okay. Right. Um, coming from a perspective of um showing manners, right? Being respectful to people around you. Um, being around kids, depending on the atmosphere where you are, let's just say you're in church or you guys were giving examples of uh, being at, at the creek. I know you guys say the river. We say creek. <laughs> yes. Okay. That is totally, totally 100% uh, understandable where it's a no-no, right? Have respect for the kids, have respect for those around you. Now, here's the wrench that I'm throwing in. I'm throwing in the whole toolbox, okay? Right. Study show, right, um, that using swear words mm -hmm. are only used by highly intelligent people. Only used by highly so, intelligent people. By intelligent people, correct. Now, there's a difference between um, having an education, right? We're not talking about someone with master's or a bachelor's. We're talking about intelligence. Education does not necessarily equate to intelligence. Right. So there are certain attributes that go towards be, uh, showing you intelligent people. You know, having a messy desk, um, you know, it may be debatable to some people, you know, staying up late, 
and actually using uh, foul language is one of them. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes. And, and and, is, sorry. Yeah. A lot of people may think um, they're a bit, they're uneducated or they lack uh, vocabulary, but actually studies show it's uh, quite the contrary. Their, their language is quite vast and their level of intelligence is quite high, very high IQ. Uh, people use foul language and highly successful people as well. Hmm. That, mm-hmm. that, yep. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. I, I guess I was an exception. <laughs> I I find myself saying a little of the same for myself because I don't use foul language. <laughs> me too. Um, look, look however, I do express myself. Being in construction for 27 years, I do say a certain things, you know, but yes, yes. <laughs> nothing foul per se. Yes. Dinesh, Dinesh has seen that he is very intelligent. Mm-hmm based on your information mm-hmm. that you shared. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm pretty I'm right here, No, but, um, <laughs> you know, you know, Ren, as I see, right? Mm-hmm. Look, I try mm-hmm. to, I try to mm-hmm. fight to be intelligent here now too, right? Um, <laughs> I have used a, a lot of cool mm-hmm. words, especially when, you know, give me up one I can tell you then. I use a lot of cool words when, I am given like jokes and that kind of thing, but you know, I... right, right. <laughs> <clears throat> but you know, hilarious. Um, you know, if if I'm really surrounded by, you know, families mm-hmm. and kids and that kind of thing, mm-hmm. nah, and I, mm-hmm. I, I nothing to, do, to that person, no, no. Absolutely. And and that's why I said I split it in two, where, of course, being in a specific environment where there's children, et cetera, et cetera. Right. I mean, you're not going to go in, for, in church walking up for communion and use foul language, right? right. Inappropriate, right. right? But in the context of career-wise, uh-huh. right? Um, success in that aspect, people who use foul language, it is said they are highly intelligent and extremely successful and we've had conversations before and you know where my mind is when it comes to like career education um career being successful etc so it's it's in that context where it actually is said that it's only by only highly intelligent people use foul language and you know to back up what is seen right dinesh Mm -hmm. dinesh help um Put what you see in into perspective, which is mm-hmm. in, intelligent at the correct time mm-hmm. and place. Correct. Well correct. said. I understand fully now mm-hmm. what you're saying. So basically, yes. the guys who are cursing right next to our mm-hmm. family, we know that yes, they may be cursing, yeah. but they're definitely not intelligent. But people who yes, and that's not intelligence. That's um. There's this word that's not a word I remembered from Trinidad. Poor brought up C. Right. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. But if big men, linemen, or men and women, and they they communicating and that's their style, there's no one around. But they know that if people should join, they conduct mm-hmm. themselves differently. I Correct. Understand, I understand Correct. what you're saying. I understand Correct. what you're saying. And. With reference to the music, as I had you guys in the background while I was responding to emails to some of my uh, manufacturers, mm-hmm. and um, with reference to music. Now, I was listening intensively and a little intensely. I even got a little distracted from my email because the trend of thought, now this one could be debatable and you guys could totally disagree, which is understandable, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Point of views in the U.S. as opposed to point of views in Trinidad or maybe in Europe would be a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, I grew up in the 80s, okay? Um, I'm an 80s child. I was a heavy metal freak, 
right? right? We're talking Metallica, Iron Maiden, ACDC, Ozzy. That was my kind of music, mm-hmm. right? My mom used to, <laughs> my mom used to say, you know, the devil music and blah blah blah. I mean, Iron Maiden, um, Metallica has has words like darkness and prison in me, blah blah blah, right? Now, yeah. when you fast forward my life today. I'm I'm not a Satan worshiper. Actually, I'm a Christian. I'm a proud Christian, right? right. Um, I believe with the music, the way you guys, I'm, I'm getting from the previous caller and the conversation, I'm getting the the image or the idea. Maybe I'm misunderstanding where you your understanding to assist the youths is to eliminate the music or to divert them from it in order to change their mind or show them a different path. In America, our concept is we like the freedom of choice. So even though the music would say would have foul language or the meeting or the story behind it is not something you would want your child to hear, the responsibility falls in the lap of the parents. It's nothing right. to do with society. It has nothing to do with the musician, whether it's Snoop Dogg or I'm old school, so I don't know right. the new modern names of the singers these days, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so in the U.S., this is how we think. We're not going to stifle that musician, regardless of how vulgar or inappropriate the music is. Right. It should be based on the parents to train your children to Walk them in the way. So whether you're a Christian, you throw, you show them the ways of Christ. If you're a Hindu, you walk them in the ways of the different uh, saints or not saints in, in Hinduism, I apologize, dainties or, or whatever, right? Yes. And if you're Muslim, in the ways of Allah. So it falls on the lap of the parents, even though long ago they say it takes a village to raise a child. It actually doesn't. It's the responsibility of the parents. So that's how we look at it in America. So in Trinidad, I do understand the concept is a little more like, well, we will sway them from it and not let, you know, if you train your child the right way and you instill the morals and the values within them, then Mm -hmm. they, when they become an adult, 18, they still have that freedom of choice, though, to either continue the ways that you taught them or you know what? Decide to go the other route. And that's how we I would look at it or we would look at it here in the U.S. Hmm. It's not right or wrong, but it's just different. I watch my I agree totally with you. And and I mm-hmm. love everything that you see. And he is, oh, hi- thank you. He is highly intelligent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ren- hey, this this game massacre, that's not. I just need to use the washroom. Yeah, fix up. Yes. Well, I really, really appreciate that. Hey, Lyndon, you're the star. i real tired here myself. You know. Yeah, I, oh, I'm ready God. to go. I've been up since like well, 3.30 we, this morning. We going until the party, yeah, done? As as Ren? <laughs> yeah, bring something for me to eat, man. But anything you want to bring for me. Listen, we well, Ren, you're going to sing a song for we are. Well, I can't sing. It, I'm, I'm a terrible uh, singer. I love how Kimberly goes out, like literally bold and, and sing. I can't sing. Um, I think if I start singing now, we'll have a hurricane in the Atlantic. So, <laughs> nor yes. am I good at jokes. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. But I have to be in touch with you soon. But. Yes, so nice chatting. Um, thank you for allowing me to give a different yes, point of view. Yes, no, it 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 has broadened the horizon, and I really agree with you. You know that mm-hmm. it's parents' responsibility, but unfortunately, mm-hmm. you know, like here in Trinidad, mm-hmm. a lot of a lot of mm-hmm. kids have to actually travel to school. You know, mm-hmm. so all the taxis, yeah. all the taxis are playing yeah. music, so. Whether yeah. whether the you like it or not, the children going to be exposed. Yes, to it. Yes. So I guess it's just about you know trying to tell the kids, hey, you know, for that little moment you're yeah. driving in that taxi, let's try to ignore that, you know. But it's sad. It's sad. Right. It's sad. Yeah. It's sad. It is. I understand. Yes. All right. Well, Come enjoy on. the rest of the night. Uh, I'm still up responding to some people in China and Malaysia. Nice so one. Good, <laughs> I'll good. have you guys in the background. We'll tell. 
tell them, tell them in Malaysia and China, tell them that Mr. Sana say good night. <laughs> I definitely would. <laughs> take care. All right, take care. Ed. Nice having you, man. Bye. All right. Bye. Nice. All right, take care. Bye. All right, cool. Ooh, 69 people. What happened to all your boy? Ooh, cool. Hey, all it ain't easy, boy. All it, aha, uh -huh. Franklin, then when he comes back and tell him you want to go by Mr. Harry in the boat. All right. What to tell him, Mr. Harry? <laughs> come, come, let me really come up with that prank. Let me come up with that prank for Linda and then true. I'm watching the, I'm watching the chair, I'm watching this bottle of water. I ain't, ain't going to do him that. Oh, gosh. Yeah, boy, we like zombie. Hey, Trini Desi, because I can't check it right now. Tell me, um, tell him, let me go. All right, all right, I'm going to tell him. I will tell him. Yeah, Trini Desi, tell me a little bit, um, what your channel is like. Is it you that said you want to go more into vlogging? That Lyndon said he's going to get something to eat. I hope he's coming back here because if he ain't coming back here, hmm, that he'll, he'll come back, he'll come back. All right. Mrs. Jen... Janelle Clifton. Hi, Mr. Sana. Good night. Just got home from work. Watching you from Mary Marietta, Georgia, USA. Oh, gosh. Nice to have you in the house. Oh, yes. I know your face. I know your profile picture. You're always commenting. So, welcome. I'm glad you reached home safely. All right. Yeah. Bella. Let us see how he's gonna get something to eat. All right. Yeah, I, I all I go all alone to all your man. That's all right. I go in until the morning come. Oh god, look my girl, man. Oh god, look my girl, look my girl. Oh god. You see, hey, you see how much support I have, boy. Oh gosh. I really honestly. You lie. Did not tell me you're not get something to eat. <laughs> he wrote it on the chat that he was going to sleep. <laughs> then he covered it up. <laughs> hey, then, nah, then boy. Watching, yeah, try to figure out what um, prank you're going to play on him. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey. Did <laughs> go. Nah, that's all. That's all. Nah. <laughs> Just on this. Use this one. Hey. Is it this one? Is this one working? Let me see. Yeah, oh, we'll have to. Let me see. Hey, Ole, you see? Hello. Okay, this one working. Yes. <laughs> Two times in one night, that man pranked me. <laughs> Lenin, start the life. I know he do and it. And I sleep it. Okay. No, well, I wasn't sleeping. He start everybody sleeping, life. Right? Look, he commenting as me now. <laughs> then I come in, I come in for your tail. Are they, are they leaving me here, right? <laughs> what am I supposed to do? <laughs> so, Ali, Mr. Sana went to eat. What everybody's still doing up? I was nice and cozy in my bed, you know. And then Linda decided to come. <laughs> Sana, don't fall asleep on the barbecue pit tomorrow. <laughs> I wonder if Mr. Sato go into the barbecue. A pillow fight? Yeah. Oh, they see my eyes like fully down. Good morning. Happy Saturday. <laughs> One, two, three a.m. Yeah. So since nobody is here with me, can I close off the slide? <laughs> no tapping out. Oh jeez. <laughs> Are you ready to go and sleep? Watch me now. Just now, that's now, that's now, that's now, that's now. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> you must scroll up and find this, the comment. 
<laughs> yeah, let me see this. Let me see the comment. I don't know if it's still there. He tried to um block it off by, by typing a lot. Who's he stammering? Hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Right, look, he was typing there. Uh, hold on, hold on. This man is easy boy. Right, so I go in and get up and abandon Sana in a bit without him realizing. So let me fill up the chat so he doesn't know. <laughs> All right. This is a good idea. This should be fun. Yes, very That's good. That's when you were busy good. talking to Ren. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right. And I, I like how the audience was just like full out supporting them. So watch me now. Only Rose was so, trying to tell you. <laughs> so so watch me. Everybody in here was backing, backing the plan. <laughs> well, nobody tell you anything except when Rose started. So let's see. Um, where is it? Somebody try to give a clue there. Mr. Mr. Sonny, Sonny all alone. <laughs> yeah, Lyndon went to bed. <laughs> uh, hey, go and I check the gonna... kitchen, Lyndon. Go to sleep. <laughs> hey, you see me? I could stay here, but I got to go and get a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Coffee now. What do you mean? Sada. All the people strange, you know. Night made to sleep. Oh, gosh. Hey. <laughs> Hey, all the good, yes? No, but I hear um, Ren was talking about rock song, like Tool and thing. Were you into Tool, like London? Do, I, Do you remember Tool? Nah, no. I don't know, yeah. I don't know Tool. I, I know the, um, she talked about Iron Maiden. <laughs> mm-hmm. and, yeah, um, Guns and Roses and Metallica. Had, um, Rolling Stones was. Rolling Stones. Yeah. Well, yeah. I wouldn't call them heavy. That, that yeah. was heavy. Nah. All right, all right. But Tool go was pretty s- heavy. Go and sleep, Sarah. <laughs> oh Linda, gosh. say good night to the people. He bold face, uh, he come and start the live with you sleeping. Yeah. Wake you up. And he going and to he sleep. Going to sleep. Hey, yeah. well, guys, watch me. Or they will forgive me. <laughs> if I see. They will see you anymore. You know, I never <clears throat> ever abandoned all you before. <laughs> All right. How much people? They have 57 sure, people out of their beds. I sure, I sure, Ole, could be happy if I go so Ole could go and sleep <laughs> or go and watch our next YouTuber or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think Dinesh posted a video tonight. Ole could yeah, go Ole, and watch that. <laughs> Dine, he posted one tonight? The a wedding, yeah. All right. So, Ole, listen, it's not to say like uh, leaving Ole hanging. All right. Dinesh posts a nice video. Today, of of our wedding, is a it? wedding, yeah. Of our wedding, so in a nice way, tell me, well, Mister Sana, it is no scene, boy. <laughs> we we go lock off the live and we go go and watch Dinesh video. What well, is it? Yes, you guys need to go and sleep. I already watching Dinesh. All right, <laughs> Ooh, that's what we talking about. All right, so Dinesh. The ball is in your court if you want. All right. So, guys, hear what to do, right? Make sure and post up comments on Dinesh video and let him know, Mr. Dinesh, we're watching the video right now, but with the promise that you're going to come on live at approximately 10 to 2. Yeah, Mr. Sana, send me. I don't know. Linden, I put on the echo and I don't know how to take it up. That's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> All right. I go down the road now, guys. <laughs> Dinesh back it out one time. I like that. Oh gosh. Hey. <laughs> all the good, all the good, all the good. All right, um, Trini Vibes. Nice to have you in the house, man. All right. Savvy feel better. Savvy said she wasn't feeling All right. Well. So everybody, um, I will be up again if God spare life. By about half past six, seven o'clock. How you do that? And uh, how, you, how you do that? What's that? Like willingly wake up at half past six when you go no, to no, sleep. No, no, re- re- no. Regardless one. of what time I go to sleep, I could go to sleep. Yeah. Two o'clock, three o'clock, and by half past six, seven o'clock, I will be up again. Yeah, that was so, always. So, guys, the case. I guarantee y'all, <laughs> if God spare life, I wonder if I could really keep this promise. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but here. Uh, Let me put this Susie fall asleep with the life on. 
Ah, we still here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so here, here, what we doing? Here, here, what somebody the said? Jumping is assemble. assemble. <laughs> Avengers. We going across my Danish. Yes, I good. Go to Danish. Go to Danish now. Autobots right? roll out. Yes, man. <laughs> So go up to Dinesh now, and this is Sana and Kimberly out. Signing out. All Bye. right, tomorrow, please, God, guys. We love all you. Thanks for the support. All right, Dinesh taking over the scene. And <laughs> Dinesh, what I'm going to tell you, you can't disappoint 52 people that love you. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so go live and have a chat, and I'll probably join in the chat too. <laughs> all right. But you take it over now, my boy. Oh. Yeah, man. Blessings to everybody. Sending lots of love. All right. Today is Saturday and it's approximately half past June one. Third. Make you June third. All right. Be happy. Be safe. And remember, if you're taking your little line, be careful. If you're lying next to strangers, keep your eyes in your area. All right. And keep your words clean. Keep your words clean. All right. <laughs> so sending lots of love to all you. And you know, once again, I want to send a lot of love. To my daughter Sydney, Sadie, and Suri, my son Brandon and Zach. This is Daddy sending lots of love to all you. All right? Yeah, man. <laughs> Bye, folks.